At an earlier time, I sat down with the one, the only Jules Weinstein. And today I share this never before aired chat with the one and only Jules Weinstein. We talk about Roni past, talk about Roni future. My, my, how things have changed. But stay tuned, sit back. Today we are joined from a never before from the vault, never before heard chat with the one and only Miss Jules Weinstein. I, I say that. this all Maybe. the time, all the time. And like living in New York, it's the same thing. I go right to the floor. I'm like, that's like a rental and like a one bedroom. It's a parquet floor. Like this is how like and a normal Chelsea? person lives. Right. Yeah. No, like that's, that's the apartment I lived in when I was 22, you know? And I think that that's not New York. Like let's, where's, where's that fifth Avenue on the central park, like house. Right? I say that like not to be a snob, but like, yes, like I'm not saying like these people like Ramona is not starving to death, but I agree. I think the American person wants to see disgusting opulence in New York City like we see in Beverly Hills. And we have tons of. Yeah. Yes. I mean. Yes, I, that's what I'm trying to say. I, I agree. <laughs> you know? I, I think they're trying. I think that's what they're trying to do. I mean, it's going to be a completely diverse cast, of course, but they're really, I think, going to try to go for real. Yeah. And it's not money. about age. Like, I know that they were trying to get a younger cast. Who cares? I think that that's the interesting story. Like, and, and also where they're filming, you know, like a, the, the Calzone scene. The reason why that happened, okay, I was on the phone with my best friend, Corey. And I'm like, he's like, oh, so where are you filming? I'm like, I'm on the way to this pizzeria where we take our kids for the birthday parties. And when they make their own pizza, I go, can you believe I'm going to, to dinner with like 50, 60 year olds to where we take our three year olds for the birthday parties where you build your, he's like, Jules, you got to make a hot pocket and throw everything in your purse in there. And I just happened to break my vagina. So I had like light you know everything and I'm like oh my god that's hilarious and now to this day I want to kill him I'm like look what you did to me so that's why that scene came and they and they made me look like I was a crackhead but it wasn't meant to be that way you know just whatever it's like who you're with and it wasn't funny but it was funny to me you know but um but like why did we film there you know it's really hard to get though like places where you usually go like Soho House or Le Bernardine they won't um, they're not gonna allow they don't want you to yeah so it's really hard like even stores like intermix or whatever like the only place jeffrey's was the only place that i would shop maybe you know would uh let us film there but you know bergdorf's won't let us intermix you know they don't want it that's really the thing about it. new york as opposed to like in orange county or whatever potomac like right the top restaurants and places in new york like they don't care about New York housewives or any housewives. Like, mm -hmm. you know, they, they don't want cameras. They go out of their way. Like Soho house would never allow cameras. They're just like, I mean, no. they don't let you talk on the phone there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I think it's also, there's a lot of finance money in New York and like finance men you know, or women, whoever's working at the firm is not allowed to be on TV. Like they don't, it's like in the contract, you can't go be on a reality show. A lot of it. No. Right. So that's a lot of it. But do you think, well, you know, there's also all, what do you think about the age? You mentioned it, like you were 35. You know, did you realize how young you were as a housewife when you were on the show? <laughs> um, I did. Um, but uh, I'm, I mean, my best friend down here is 90. She's so cool. I love Frankie. I love her. And I never go out for lunch. I only go out to lunch with Frankie. She's not, she's 90. We're 50 years apart. Um, age doesn't matter. It's like, it's like your connection. Right. Um, so it really didn't matter. Dorinda and I were so close, but, um, but they really made me feel like I was not, you know, I was like out of that, like I didn't belong, you know, they made me totally. like, like I couldn't, like I cracked jokes. They wouldn't, they were like mono face. You know, like I couldn't really connect with them. I only connected with Dorinda. But although like off camera, Bethany and I were great in the beginning. Ramona and I hung out the summer before. We were great. And Luann and I did. Tony and I did. It's just, it was different. Like I feel like on camera, everyone was sending for themselves camera time, you know, and they were really good at it. Um, you know. Did you, but, well, no, that is how it is. And did you feel also, you also have a group of very strong, like, 
voices like Ramona, Sonia, mm-hmm. and like, did you find it hard to get a word in edgewise? Like, wait, what did I sign up for? Like, everyone is. Uh, um, sometimes, yes. Well, when it had to do with Tom, I just was like, I don't even know. I didn't really have a story there. I was the only one that didn't have sex with him. I didn't even know who he was. Um, I could only put my opinion in if I had one, but uh, but it, it was fine. I was fine with it. It was what? fine. I had a great time. You did? Yeah, I did, yeah. What about, you know, like there is all this now, like with Ebony and even like you look at like Crystal Kong Minkoff, like, you know, first Asian American, you know, quote unquote. Yeah, wait, hold on. I was the first Asian American. Why do they say that? (laughs) Well, that's the point that I was just going to make, right? (laughs) Yeah. What is going on here? I don't even know who she is. I heard somebody told me that. Is she half Asian, half American or is she full Asian? I believe that full Asian and she's on Beverly Hills and we have Tiffany Moon on Dallas, which Dallas has canceled, but there is this now role. Dallas is canceled. Yeah. It was canceled like maybe six months ago ish. No way. Oh, Dallas is gone. Jules, it's gone. But that's <laughs> the thing, you know, we even had like Joyce Gerard who is from Puerto Rico on Beverly Hills in season four, we have these situations and now it's like we're rolling out the first of this and the first of that. I'm like, not really. We had like Fernanda Rocha. She's Brazilian. She was a friend of on OC in the past. Like, right. So you really were right. You're half, you were the first Asian housewife. Half. Yeah. But that counts. We should, I should start a campaign. They should pay homage to you. Right. Yeah. I'm going to start a, a campaign, a tag. I'm going to make you the president. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to get like justice for Jules, but I don't know. I mean, maybe that's just a statement of like where we are now that, you know, but I mean, Bravo, I think has been better with diversity and inclusion than people think in a way. Do you know? I mean, I yes, don't know. There is maybe they have a long way to go. There's, there actually is a hashtag justice for Jules out there. It makes me laugh so hard. It is so funny, but I'm going to, I'm going to bring it hard right now. What is the the, justice for Jules? What is it for? I mean, I could think of a lot of things that it could be for. Like, what is it for? I don't know. Some people put it up there, like, because I was the one season of wonder. It's so funny and embarrassing, but um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to bring it back. Like, what's that uh, Asian woman? the, The second Asian American Tiffany Moon. Although um, I think technically, personally, she was cast first. I mean, to be honest with you, I think she was. She was cast first. I believe, yeah, ninety nine percent. Like Dallas, and it was all happening at once. But like Dallas was technically filming before Beverly Hills. So I think really Tiffany was before Crystal. If you want my opinion, Dallas. Pretty. Well, Dallas in season eight, we filmed it at the same time. This first season of Dallas. Yeah. Do you watch other franchises or you're really just hardcore <laughs> with Miami now? Like you're loving Miami. Um, I just watched Miami for the first time yesterday. So like episode one. It's good, I don't right? Know. Like it's, or do you feel it's yeah. not an accurate representation of Miami? No, it's totally accurate. It's very, whoa. I, don't I mean, know. you have I, Larsa. I have to watch. I, you see, I don't even know who that is. So I, um, that's how much I like it, but, but I like Scottie Pippen's wife. 